Hello students! Welcome to our lesson on how to use functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet tool to perform advanced calculations on numerical data. After going through this lesson, you are expected to define what an electronic spreadsheet is, identify some of the most popular electronic spreadsheet tools and their unique features, understand the main purposes of spreadsheets, Explain the concepts of functions and arguments, including examples. Access and use functions in Microsoft Excel. Recognize different categories of functions. And apply some of the most commonly used functions in a spreadsheet. Let's get started. What is an electronic spreadsheet? An electronic spreadsheet is a software application that allows you to organize analyze and store data in a tabular format. It's made up of cells that are arranged in rows and columns, where you can input data, perform calculations, and visualize results using charts and graphs. What is the difference between proprietary software and open source software? The main difference between proprietary software and open source software is in who controls it and how you can use it. Proprietary software is owned by a company or individual, and they control how it can be used. You usually have to buy it or get a license to use it. You're not allowed to see or change the code that makes the software work. Examples include Microsoft Windows and Adobe Photoshop. Open source software is free to use, and its code is shared openly with everyone. You can download it, use it, modify it, and even share it with others without restrictions. The community often helps improve it. Examples include Linux and LibreOffice. Here are some of the most popular electronic spreadsheet tools and their unique features. We have Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel offers a wide range of functions, formulas, and tools for data analysis. It also supports pivot tables, conditional formatting, and various chart types. Another is Google Sheets. Google Sheets allows real-time collaboration, cloud-based storage, and integration with other Google services like Google Drive and Google Forms. We also have Apple Numbers. Apple Numbers provides a clean, user-friendly interface with beautiful templates and the ability to use interactive charts and tables. Another is LibreOffice Cal, open source and free to use with many advanced features similar to Excel, including pivot tables and various statistical functions. And Zoho Sheet. Zoho Sheet offers cloud-based collaboration, AI-powered data cleaning, and integration with other Zoho Office Suite tools. Let us talk about the main purpose of a spreadsheet. The main purpose of a spreadsheet is to help you organize, calculate, and analyze numerical data efficiently. You can use it to perform complex calculations quickly, analyze data trends using charts and graphs, organize data into tables for easy reference, and manage budgets, schedules, and other data-driven tasks. Now, let's talk about functions and arguments. In a spreadsheet, a function is a predefined formula that makes calculations based on the data you provide. Each function has a specific purpose, like adding numbers, finding an average, or checking conditions. To create and enter functions, always start with an equal sign. Without it, Excel will not calculate a result. An argument is the input you give to a function. Arguments can be numbers, cell references, or other data needed to perform the calculation. Let's take a look at example one. The function is sum, and the argument given is cell A1 to A5. This argument tells the function to add up all the numbers in cells A1 through A5. In this another example, the function is average, and the argument is cell B1 to B8. This calculates the average of the numbers in cells B1 through B8. Now, let us talk about the steps in accessing functions in Microsoft Excel. First, open Excel and select the cell where you want the result. 
Next, click on the Formulas tab on the ribbon. Then, choose a category from the Function Library group. We have Financial, Lookup and Reference, Math and Trig, and others. After that, select the function you want to use. Then, enter the required arguments in the dialog box that appears. Then, press OK and the function will calculate the result in your selected cell. Functions in Excel are grouped into different categories. We have Math and Trig category, which is for mathematical operations. Examples are Sum, Round, and Int or Integer. Another category is Statistical, for statistical analysis. Examples are Average, Median, and STDEV, or Standard Deviation. We also have the Logical category, for logic-based conditions. Some examples are IF, AND, and OR. Next is the Text category, for text manipulation. Examples are Concatenate, Left, and Right. Then we have the Lookup and Reference category, for looking up data. Examples are VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and MATCH. One of the many built-in functions provided by Excel that is useful for entrepreneurs of your age is the functions under the category of math. The math functions in Excel perform many of the common mathematical calculations, including basic arithmetic, conditional sums and products, and the trigonometric ratios. These functions are presented in the table below. We have the first function, which is SAM. This adds all the numbers in a range of cell. Another is PRODUCT. It multiplies all the numbers given as arguments. Then QUOTIENT. It returns the integer portion of a division. We also have the POWER function. It returns the result of a number raised to a power. Then MOD. It returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. We also have some product. This returns the sum of the products of corresponding ranges or arrays. Then we have sum SQ. This returns the sum of the squares of the arguments. Next is sum if. This adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria. We also have sum ifs. It adds the cells specified by a given set of condition or criteria. Lastly, we have round. This rounds a number to a specified number of digits. If you cannot remember the description and syntax of the functions, just use the insert function button to look for the function. The corresponding description and syntax will be displayed. Now, let's take a closer look on the following examples. Here is the sample data of prices of three Sari Sari stores and the available products. You may copy the sample values in your worksheet for you to try the functions. Let's have the sum function. To get the sum of the values in column X of the table, you type the formula equal sum of cell B9 to B13 and you will get 37. Next, let's try the product function. To get the product of the values in the first row of the table, you type the formula equal product of cell B9 to cell D9, and you will get 240. Next is the quotient function. To get the quotient of the value in the first cell of the table as the numerator and the second cell to the right as the denominator, you type the formula equal quotient of cell B9 and cell C9, and you will get 1. As easy as that. And that's it for today's lesson. Now that you've learned about electronic spreadsheets and how to use functions and formulas, I encourage you to practice these skills on your own. Try using different functions and see how they can help you analyze and manage data. Remember, practice makes perfect. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and have fun with your spreadsheets. Thank you and goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.